Hi guys, in this video I just want to quickly go through the magic mask uh, for the purposes of masking out objects but also making sure that they don't glitch out to black whenever you change any aspect of that clip after you've applied the masking node to it. So I'm going to start with this clip which is just a rotating watch and I just want to mask out this case and watch. So I would go to the color tab come up here to my nodes, press Alt S, and then click on the magic mask, click on the plus button here, just draw a stroke straight through here, and click on the overlay so I can see what's been masked out. And just for illustrative purposes, that will do. It's done a pretty good job of that already. So uh, this is drawn a stroke here, which you can't see, but there's a little dot on this stroke number one. And we're gonna click on this button here, just to toggle through the rest of the frames and draw those masks out. So from here, you can add an alpha output, which I've already done, but you click on add an alpha output here and you should see a blue dot here. You just connect this last node, which has got your mask on it to that output node. And if you remove the overlay, you should see it's isolated the subject. You can apply the denoise here to like two or three and it should get rid of the alias thing on the edge so this is good enough for illustrative purposes um, also after this like after this node you could then choose to apply i don't know a um, vignette or you could again play around with the exposure although in practice you really shouldn't do that you should should do that here um, or actually on the f first node before your color space transform um, just to make sure you're not editing upon edited footage to make sure you're preserving the quality of your image. So, okay, this seems to work quite nicely. Um, it's masked it out and everything's fine. But then if I go back to the clip that I've edited on, let's say I wanted to, I don't know, zoom this in or out a bit. Suddenly, after I've changed the zoom, it's just glitched out to black. Go back to the color tab, I click on this node which has the mask on it and you see this line's red, it needs to be remasked all over again. And the reason for this is because something's changed with the source clip. And because you're changing the source clip and this node which has the mask is looking at the source clip, it has to remask everything all over again. So a way around this, which might be obvious, let me just put this back to normal, put the zoom back to normal. Uh, and uh, let me just go back to the beginning. If you want, if you were here, by the way, and you wanted to go back to the last point that you drew a stroke on, you just click on this button, which is the first frame of that tracked area. And also if there's any strokes towards the end, it will go to the last if you click on that button. Right, I'm gonna click on this one, go to the first, and let's uh, redraw that mask all over again. So we're back to where we were. It's nicely masked out. The watch is rotating. Um, now, this might be quite obvious, this next stage, um, but what I've done in previous projects so that I can manipulate this and it's not gonna glitch out on me and go to black is I will create a new timeline. So this will be called timeline 27. And then I'll come back to this tutorial timeline. I will copy this clip, control C, come back to timeline 27, which we just created, click on paste, and indeed it's like it's blacked out again. So you're gonna to have to go to your color tab and you're gonna to have to remask this. And don't forget to select the node that's got the mask on it. Right, so this has been masked again, but within timeline 27, not within the tutorial timeline, which I showed you before. This is in the timeline which we copy pasted that clip. So now if I go back to edit, that clip's in there, it's nicely masked and it's in timeline 27. So if I go to tutorial and I find timeline 27, I drag and drop it in here and let's remove this other clip. Now this is referencing timeline 27 and I can change the zoom, I can change the position, I can even go to color and I can, if I wanted to, although I wouldn't recommend it, I would do it on the original clip, but if I wanted to add a vignette, if I wanted to change the exposure, if I wanted to change the balance, the color balance, like everything can be done here and it won't clip out to black. 
This might be very obvious, but I didn't see any videos detailing this. Um, and it's really annoying when you've got a lot of subjects to work with and they keep clipping out like this. I see a lot of videos on YouTube singing the mask's praises and rightly so, it's fantastic. Um, but for a sustainable workflow, um, this was a great option for me um, when I was fine tuning final compositions, changing sizes and positions, etc. So I hope this video was useful, guys. If you like this video, as always, please click on the thumbs up. If you want to see any more of my content, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I plan to release a lot more videos on DaVinci Resolve since I've adopted it, uh, which has been about three months now. It is fantastic, uh, although it's not without its faults, just like the rest of them. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this one and it was beneficial for you. And until next time, I will see you in the next video.